Hi guys, welcome to the Essence of Gardening. On this episode, we're going to talk about Sansevieria trifasciata or snake plant. A snake plant is called, commonly called because of the leaves. It's kind of like a, kind of like a snake. It's pointy and a, it can be a sword plant. Some people call it a sword plant. But what I like about this plant is it's a very sturdy plant. First thing and foremost, um, it can be put on every decorative planters that you like. You can bring it indoors, inside your bedroom, um, bathroom, everywhere indoor you like to put it. Um, basically, this plant was... A native in the tropical West African region, Nigerian East to the Congo. Um, some people they uh, use it as a bow, uh, bow string, um, because of the leaves. When you when you try to rip up the leaves, it's very sturdy. It has like a stringy material in it. It's an, it's this one is an Perfect. evergreen when perennial it, plant, it, it, it has a forming dense stance. Right here. Um, right here. The way it is, um, is um, the plant in order for me to plant grows it, to all the sideways, it can grow, right? um, the rhizome can grow sideways, it can grow above ground as well, sometimes underground. Its stiff leaves grow vertically from a basal rosette. Mature leaves are dark green with, with uh, in, in my case, mine has like a yellow, um, yellow cross banding, I mean, a, a vertical or horizontal or vertical, vertical, vertical banding on the sides. So, yeah. Um, and um, this this, the leaves can grow up to uh, five, like about hmm, usually ranging from 70 to 90 centimeters long and 5 to 6 centimeters in wide. Um, it depends really. Okay, so why do I like this plant? According to NASA, According to NASA, um, do you guys know that according to NASA about um, all the plants has a potential to clean in indoor toxins, but this specific plant, according to NASA, it removes four out of five toxins in the air. What are they? It removes trichloroethylene, formaldehyde, benzene, silene. These are the four toxins, my major toxins that can get you sick. So these plants, it filters the air, the toxins into the air very slow. So it's a practical indoor use, but the, the filtration is so slow. So you might want to add more of the this type of plant indoors. Um, the propagate, propagation is through cuttings. Some people, they just cut the leaves and plant them on the ground, on the soil. And you just wait for like about two weeks or two weeks or so. And then you get to see the new buddings or new... new um, new 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 growth for your plant and also like what i'm doing here i'm just dividing the rhizome the rhizome is kind of like the kind of like the rhizome if you could see it like a ginger one that's a rhizome this is not a ginger it's just the root on the bottom i just divided it and even if it doesn't have a leaves on it, it could still grow. You just put them on the ground and the soil and it just grow. Um, this plant is very um, 
it's very sturdy durable um just because um i have a pot and that doesn't have any hole on it and one time i watered it so much that i thought that it's gonna drown <laughs> but it did not drown so it's still alive and once i did that what my observation was it just gives out new shoots and another shoots and another shoots and another shoots until it multiplied so it's a, it's a very um hardy plant in wet and in in drought area but my observation when it my plant the sansevieria plant was outside or outdoors was my bunny keeps on eating it the bunny likes to eat it like like really eat eating the leaves so so what i suggest is that when you have a bunny like me <laughs> then just bring them the the your snake plant or sansevieria plant indoors and bring it in, into the container Put it in the you know like just like what i'm doing right now so the soil let's talk about the soil that i put i'm putting right now is just a regular soil and there's no it's not a fancy soil that does it doesn't have a fertilizer this kind of plant does not need fertilizing because it fertilizes itself so you don't need any fertilizer plus this plant it multiplies so easily like I said so no need for fertilizer you just need water and that's it so what I'm doing here right now is just cutting all the excess roots and then cleaning up the leaves like washing them and then um, planting it making sure that your you have plenty of um, uh, space and then just put it on the space the the rhizome and then um, bring bring in some soil and just slightly press press it in surround surrounding the plant like I'm doing here right now just uh, kind of like tucking them in inside the pot and so making sure that the the roots are um, in there and um, covered with soil so what I'm doing right now is washing the pots right now um, making sure that there is no soil around it because I'm these are indoor plants and I'm making sure that there's no mud in it and also make sure that the your soil doesn't have any bugs on it no nothing no bugs at all because once you bring this indoors um, it should be like out of um, no bugs and <laughs> make sure that your pots are clean okay so let me ask you this why do you need indoor plants personally i do need indoor plants because the top of my list is that indoor plants can be benefic beneficial to my health uh, that would be mentally and physically just because by looking at it you see the plant you see the decorative pots and you say ha ah, that's a pretty nice thing and and then um, the second thing is that the the plant cleans up the indoor air which means it filters the air and get rid of the toxins like benzene benzene that causes um, 
cancer and formaldehyde all all the major toxins like trichloroethylene toluene ammonia and most of the plants can kill and can uh, absorb some of this and and some of the plants can absorb pretty much every every um toxins there is in the indoor um area so the thing about plants is that it's distressing so people like working at home work from home they could get headaches from the pollution indoors and some people they don't know it but they we do have pollution indoors so we need some filters so these plants like the sensivaria uh, or the snake plant the one that I'm planting right now can help uh, absorb all the toxins indoors so I'm having this uh, video and I'm thinking to myself that I took a lot of effort and <laughs> a lot of um, um, you know energy to do this but I'm actually enjoying it I'm enjoying planting this because I could show people that hey this is what you can do you can put it on the curative planter and you can do this for you and as you can see this will last me uh, for many many years they just need water really they don't need too much tender loving care because these are hardy perennial a hardy uh, evergreen perennial um, and it will last you for many many years um, the best thing about this is that you can bring them indoors and but the thing about it is uh, I forgot to tell you is that um, if your bathroom doesn't have a window so make sure that you have alternating pots that you can pull out the other ones that inside the bathroom for like for example two weeks you can stay in the bathroom for two weeks and then uh, put them on the windowsill make sure that it gets plenty of a little bit of you know sunlight and then bring back the other one like you know alternating uh, bringing in new pot in the bathroom um, that's just an example when you don't have any windows in the bathroom if you want this plant in the bathroom so so yeah, so make sure that if your bedroom doesn't have a window, at least you have like a, a lamp, a lamp that you can turn on, um, so that it can it could get uh, uh, you know um, at least at least that sunlight, so that it could, the leaves can process photosynthesis, uh, and and that way it could. Uh, survive so this plant can tolerate um, sun like outdoor sun it could tolerate drought it could tolerate uh, wet it could tolerate shady spots it could even tolerate the dark one the dark uh, bathroom but make sure that you do have an alternative other pot that you can bring in into the bathroom once once the other one is yeah you know um you can't you can't uh actually kill this plant because it's not possible <laughs> you can't the reason being is that it's the rhizome even even if the the leaves are dead the rhizomes the rhizomes still gonna proliferate and multiply and as long as you give them plenty of sunlight or 
at least a, a lamp shade you know a lamp that can um, so that the leaves will process that photosynthesis um so yeah try sensevieria it's a snake plant um you can go to your local um garden store and buy this plant it's very easy to grow as you can see i only bought one piece of this and now i have many many plants sensevieria plants so this is actually good for business too if you're a business uh, person you can sell it and other people they sell this through online but i don't i just make it as a hobby and um, i have plenty of this inside my house and also it's good for like decorations now you can bring it in like um next to your door like your entrance main entrance put some two pots like identical pots planters something like that and then just put it in thank you for watching subscribe and like thank you bye bye have a good day